Hi guys, it's Amit Power here. Um, after I posted a video on Twitter about the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve uh, and the radial nerve, a few of my colleagues have asked me what I do to generate that image. So I am going to show you. Uh, what I do is I take a high frequency linear probe. I happen to have a handheld device at home. Uh, I'm going to hold it high up so you can see what I'm doing with the probe, but this is not how I would hold it in clinical practice. I'm going to place it medial over my antecubital fossa. When I do that and place the brachial artery in the center of the screen, you can hopefully see the median nerve lying on the medial side of it. So the brachial artery and median nerve, and if I squeeze, you'll see the brachial artery pulsating there. I then slide the probe laterally. As I go laterally, I then start to see the superficial radial nerve there. So I can see the radial nerve sandwiched between brachialis and brachioradialis. Now I come back slightly medially on the antecubital fossa and release the pressure, you can then see the cephalic vein. And right underneath the cephalic vein, right in the center of the screen there, that is the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve. So with one sort of needle uh, insertion, you can take out the radial nerve and the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Great for distal radius uh, fractures where you don't want to give a full brachial plexus block. Hope that helps. You can see here a, a view of the antecubital fossa. You can see a needle in being inserted from the lateral aspect here, uh, approaching the area just below the cephalic vein. As the needle pops through into the area, you can see the cephalic vein, small amount of local anesthetic is gonna be injected. It's heading towards the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve, and as you inject local anesthetic, you'll see it becoming highlighted a lot clearer. So small volumes of local anesthetic are being injected and with each small aliquot you can see the highlighting of the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve there. Total volume injected in this video it looks like a lot was actually about two to three cc's maximum uh, and that's just surrounding that lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve. Needle is then withdrawn and going through brachioradialis towards the radial nerve. I'm going to pop into that little space around the radial nerve. Small injections of local anesthetic are given there. You can see the pressure head of local anesthetic is now surrounding that nerve. Uh, small uh, extra injection here and there you go, the radial nerve is completely surrounded too.